Hi everybody, Christopher Naiman. Well, today I'm going to show you how to change your presser foot easily. Because what you're going to get is you're going to get a spring adapter on here. A lot of people are buying semi-industrial machines like this Baby Lock. They come in all different names. Every few years they change the name of these machines. Baby Lock makes it, Brother makes it, all the other brands make it, uh, make one in their brand name. It's a semi-industrial straight stitch machine and a lot of people I'm reading on groups are asking, hey, because they're coming from domestic machines and they said, hey, is there a way to change these presser feet? Is there like a snap-on adapter or something? So as soon as I read that, I realize, oh gosh, they're venturing into a world that they're not used to because in industrial work, <laughs> it's a little more work than domestic work. So, but there is a little solution and it's a spring adapter. What is a spring adapter? Well, let me show you. Don't go away, I'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. All right, so I see a few ladies on the sewing groups that want to know, hey, can I change my presser foot? Is there, a way, is there an adapter that makes it easier? Now you see the speed of the sewing machine? That's why they get these machines. They also get these machines because they're making bags and they want something to upgrade. So they're using multiple layers of cotton fabrics and they want something that's gonna be a little more structured for them in a sense. But this is their first introduction into really getting in a, a full-fledged industrial machine. Now, full-fledged industrial machines, they are, uh, they are meant for, they are meant and made for production sewing. That's one of the reasons why we get these kind of machines, okay? So, but every time normally what you want to do, every time you want to change a foot to a specialty foot, you normally have to take a screwdriver and unscrew that. Um, but there, there's this little adapter here, and what you do on the right side, you push it, and the foot comes off. Okay? And then, say you want to replace it with, like, this foot. So now we're going to attach the new foot. So I get the needle all the way there. Attach the new foot, and there she is. See how quick and easy that was? All right, let me show you what this looks like uh, without it on there, and then I'm going to put one on my other... Uh, semi-industrial machine so you can watch how it's done okay so here's what it looks like this is called the exact name is a quick change spring clamp for sewing machine presser foot replacement and you can find this anywhere that they sell industrial sewing supplies so do your Google search and look this up and choose a vendor that you want to buy supplies from in the future go to your local sewing machine dealer and see if they have this if they sell industrial supplies chances are they will have this if not you'll be forced to go online all right so this is what it looks like so now let's let's replace the foot that's on the um, screw that's on here with this so okay so the first that. thing you want to do uh, I would remove your needle remove your needle and then remove the screw that came with your machine and put that in your little uh, magnetic pin cushion so you don't lose it. And then put this, you take this uh, unit apart and unscrews. Let me show you. I took it apart earlier. Sorry about that. All right, so. Okay. So that's, that's what it looks like when you get it, right? And then you unscrew it. Take that off, take this off, and there's a part here that comes off. We'll call that a collar, maybe. Okay, I don't know what that is. Now we're going to put this in here, and if it doesn't slide in, you have to turn it, like threading it. My other machines, it just slid right through. This one, a little issue here, so we'll just thread it through. There we go. All right, now put this little collar back on here. Then you put the spring, the spring fits in there, and then you got your cap. Take your screwdriver, hold it, push here. You need strong hands for this. If you don't have strong hands, find someone who's got some strong hands. And as you're pushing it in, turn the screw so it goes in. There it is. All right. So the whole idea is after it's been screwed in there, after it's been screwed in there, you're going to push this, lift your foot, push that, and then 
there it goes it fits right in so your quick release is pushing that and then it drops and it comes out you have to make sure your presser foot this presser foot bar is up really high when you do that so I'm using my knee lifter I'm using my knee lifter I'm lifting it up high pushing this in it's got you gotta have a little power you need that spring action that strength so take your right hand push towards the left as far as it'll go slip over and you can adjust this width now I would suggest making it snug because it's got to hold this presser foot go out that way put this up like this let it go there it is and see you want to make sure it's snug so just hold this back here this cap and screw this a little bit just to make sure it's nice and snug right you're gonna have a little play because of the spring but you don't want this too loose if it's too loose eventually it could pop off on you just make sure it's tight enough so you can drop that off there you go and that I could still probably make it a little tighter let's see and just a little bit tighter make that just a little bit tighter That's good. That's good. Because you want enough thread of the screw to go through this collar. And as soon as you almost, as soon as you feel the end here where the screw came out on the other end, you know it's in there tight and it's good. So I could feel the tip of the screw coming out of the of this collar cap here. So that's good. There it is, right there. You see now, now you've got a quick release. So now go back to your sewing on your semi-industrial this this is this is taken from industrial machines my friends this is an industrial machine adapter which will work on your semi-industrial uh, home version machine like this one there it is and if you want to take it off and put a different presser foot on you push it comes out make sure your knee lifters all the way up and there it is the hardest thing for you girls are going to be pushing this because it's got it's it's tight, and it has to be tight because it's uh, uh, has to hold that. Now let me get try to get the camera over on this side so you can see where the screw came through on the end so you know you have enough on there. All right, let me see if I can move the camera. All right, we've got a good view here. See where the screw came out? The screw came out right here. So is it? about two or three threads where I think it's about two threads where it came out so you know it's gripped in there really well it's not gonna come loose on you alright and that's how easy it is to put this um, quick change spring clamp I'll put the name of it in the description box below this video now I am NOT being sponsored by any company to sell this for them okay I'm doing this to help everybody so just take the name of the product that I put in the description box below the video and go to your favorite place where they sell industrial supplies and enter it or enter it in Google and they'll come up and show you it's not very expensive and this will really help you so let me show you how about you see you push it in and you put your foot up you see that okay hope this helps everybody take care bye now